People, hey, so um, this is October 2nd, and going into fall, I wanted to set the record straight about my uh, channel and uh, my videos. So, first of all, what I'm looking to do is to have uh, young males uh, be able to get in touch with their inner true animal. That's what I'm looking to do, because in our modern society now, um, just because of the empowerment of women, and I'm all for that, but um, I think that sometimes women go overboard, like, you give them an inch, they take a mile, you know. So now they have a women's live and uh, feminism and equal opportunity. They've actually went overboard to overcompensate for the injustices that have been done in the past. And I agree, there have been some injustices, but I don't think that the current um, group of upcoming young males should have to pay for that by being uh, feminized and dehumanized on uh, all of the sitcom and TV shows, even in the movies now. So what I was looking to do is with my videos, I want to empower young males and my age range, uh, initially said these videos are not for women or children. Let me clarify that. Um, the country where I come from, you are considered a man at 14 years old. It's just the way it is. You know, you're, 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 you got hair on your nuts, your testicles have dropped, your penis has elongated, your voice is deeper. You have hair on your face now, hair on your chest. And you're going through puberty, you, you're getting bigger and stronger, you're now starting to get testosterone. You just call filling yourself or filling your nuts, right? So the culture where I come from, you're a man at 14. And you are uh, fully expected to hunt and fish and participate in battle. So what I'm looking to do is to take this age range here and to give them the truths of becoming a male, a warrior, and being in touch with your inner your inner animal, your inner beast, your true inner self. We're, we're animals. We're just very intelligent animals. And so what I'm looking to do with my program is to teach these young males to become confident and self-reliant and resilient and to really be a man and not a metrosexual little bitch boy that our culture has been indoctrinating into young males. So through this process of understanding that your body is not just your temple, but it's a tool and it's also a weapon. And I wanted to help them to empower themselves and not be caught up in the lies that are perpetuated by the fitness industry. The fitness industry historically since it started has been selling young males, including myself, when I didn't know any better, uh, you know, products and gimmicks and routines and fallacies are fallacies that have them spending their money and, and, and putting their hard work into it and eventually getting frustrated and taking steroids and growth hormone and these types of things because nobody in the fitness industry really wants to tell the truth because then not only will uh, they not sell a bunch of magazines because the magazines are perpetuated over and over every year. Look at them. It's the same articles, the same crap. It's just like Cosmo for women. We like to read bullshit on, you know, how to have the perfect orgasm and how to, you know, increase your orgasmic pleasure, all this kind of fucking shit. So I wanted to have a video series where the young guys actually understand that through developing your physicality, it actually helps you to develop your spirit and your mentals. And actually your philosophy in life. Because when you're confident. When you are strong and you are fit. You have a sense of self-confidence and self-reliance. That allows you to interact with the. Uh, let us say the lesser sex. When I say lesser. I mean physically. The lesser sex. And the social environment. Where you are empowered to be a leader. And to also. Uh, just be able to carry on a conversation and to make an impact, a positive impact in our society. Right now, the young males that we have, uh, this millennial generation, or whatever you want to call it, um, they've done a lot of uh, 
phone activity, you know, they're playing on their cell phones, doing a lot of gaming. Nothing's particularly wrong with that, but the issue is they don't get outside enough and participate in sports, which sports are not just for your physicality. They also give, you know, teach you social skills, um, uh, team involvement, uh, negotiation skills, and also the ability to debate and, and have concepts and work collectively as a unit. So this video here is to clarify what was initially started in the past, but then to project this forward because now that fall is coming in, I'm going to show these young males how to utilize the outdoors in order to have um, utilizing nature to build their bodies because a gym is not necessary, fancy equipment is not necessary, uh, supplements are not necessary, all this crap, this garbage. And so while I encourage uh, young women to watch this video, the same thing in the age range of 14. So let me define this. Um, my target audience I'm looking to impact and give back uh, to the fitness industry and, and to our, you know, human civilization, human beings. I'm looking to give back to my species. The age range that I feel I'm going to have the most impact on, because I remember when I was there, is between 14 and 24. That is the age where you're actually not just developing physically, mentally, emotionally, you're branching away from your parents. You're branching out to the world trying to decide who you are. And a lot of times you can get lost in your teenage years and get caught up in a bunch of uh, activities that are not conducive, such as drug use, excessive drinking and partying, chasing the members of the opposite sex, um, bucking the system, which I'm not trying to have you become a robot. I'm trying to help you understand that we are civilized beings. We live in a society. There's certain rules and regulations that dictate how we operate within the society. I'm not saying they're right. But in order to master the game of life, first you have to learn how to play the rules. Then from there, once you understand how the game is played, you can circumvent it. You can actually reinvent it. You know, re-engineer it. Reverse engineer it. But it, if you don't know the rules of the game, you're lost. You're trying to buck the system. You don't even know what the system is. You might really even like the system. I'm not going to go into whether I like the system or not. I'm just explaining what these videos are about. It's about self-empowerment. It's about motivating and educating young people who need it the most. And like I said earlier, it's for young males, 14 to 24. But by all means, older males can... Uh, benefit from these as well. But what I've found in life is I'm here, I'm not the Pied Piper. It's not my job to um, have intellectual debates with older males who are not successful, but yet, you know, they think what they're doing is right. But you got to look at it like this. If you continue to do what you've been doing and expecting different results, that's called insanity. So what I'm looking to do is to empower young males to make correct decisions for their lives. I'm teaching them how to utilize their thinking skills, the environment, and to process it in a way where they make the most geometrically correct decisions as they develop into adulthood. Then from there they become leaders and people that make changes in our society because the youth are the future. And for those of us who have been around, if you don't, if all you do is complain, you don't give back to the youth, then you're part of the problem as well. So last time for clarification, these videos are actually targeted for young males, young men, and my de definition of a man is from 14 years old, you are a man. I'm going to talk to you like a man, treat you like a man. Any parents watching this, if you disagree with my profanity or my views, oh, so be it. But guess what? Don't be naive. If your young adult has a smartphone or a cell phone or a laptop and you don't know how to check their history, then you're being deceived because young people nowadays see all kind of stuff on the internet. You know, it's called um, accelerated adolescence. 
they have an adult mentality of the world that individuals from previous generations did not. So don't be fooled. So, you know, if, if your parents want to move you away from that, I know what you're doing outside of your parents' house. I know what you're doing in school. I know what you're doing when you hang with your homies. You know, get some knowledge, homie, so you can become a solid young man, become a beast, an animal in your own right. Get in touch with your inner animal so that when you're out in society, yes, you can be intelligent, articulate, cosmopolitan, well-traveled at a young age. But when it comes time to be in touch with your inner animal, your bestiality, when it's time to get stuff done, you can draw within that inner animal when things get hard or you have disappointments in life. You can take your inner animal, rely on yourself, not needing external motivation. You have intrinsic motivation. So when you set your goals with what you want to be in life, once you determine that, you head toward that. And yeah, there may be some pitfalls, some disappointments. That's, that's real life. It's time to man up, little bitch boy. Quit sucking on your mama's tit. You know what I'm saying? Quit, quit holding on to the coattails of your dad. It's time to fucking branch out. And now is the right time because you have a support system at home. You have people that love you if you are in a situation like that. I was in a situation where my father was incarcerated during my formative years. And my mom worked four or five jobs. So I was left to my own accord and I made some decisions based on a need. They weren't necessarily correct decisions, but they were correct at the time. Now that I'm OG Silverback, I'm looking to help empower you people so that you make the best decisions in your life so that you can avoid the pitfalls and things that will slow down your development, slow down you from becoming the best version of yourself. And you can only become the best version of yourself when you're in touch with your inner animal because that is your true self. Aside from society the roles that the society rules, the expectations your parents put on you, deep down, we're all animals. I want to teach you how to get in touch with that. Until next time, stay tuned. Subscribe to my videos because I'm going to enlighten you to not just get in touch with your inner animal, but your inner beast, your inner warrior, so you can be the best version of yourself, whatever you decide that to be. Talk to you folks next time. Subscribe to my channel and look for my videos. OG Sub back out.